So over the past few days, we've had some words by Lena Rabakina regarding the WTA's ruling of performance buys. Also, she's pulled out of Tokyo, but it continues with Rabakina's coach coming out on social media talking about the whole situation. So this is what Alina Rabakina's coach Stefano Vukov had to say. Just to make things clear, there is no explanation of what a performance buy is. What does this mean? Do we add buys to help performing players? Or do we take away ranking earned buys? And isn't ranking itself a sign of performance? Last year, we came from a final in Europe and played in Japan two days later, and performance buys were nowhere to be found. The issue is always the same lack of communication. So we'll also apply from Tokyo 500 to Beijing 1000 next week. Four performance buys will be awarded. Most players have already qualified for the final eight, so for what reason should they even compete before Cancun? The reason is that most tournaments are mandatory and fines are given out to players if you don't compete in them. Players always pay the consequences. The system doesn't work. The marketing is terrible as you can all see. Alina qualified weeks ago and just yesterday WTA decided to post something. We need transparency. All players need to understand what is going on. Stop blaming players for mistakes made by the system itself. So there you go, strong words there. And look, he's not wrong. We talked about this the last couple of videos. Does a performance buy given out, does it depend on the week before, two weeks before? What does it actually mean? In this situation, it was the week before. Of course, last week, Guadalajara, the two players that played well get a performance buy. And the players that didn't play last week, don't. Also, he's not wrong about Rabakina qualifying weeks ago. You've been watching the ranking show here. You know that she did qualify after the US Open, and now the WTA just say, hey, she's qualified. They've also said, I think last week, they said Shviante qualified or something like that, and she'd qualified for months. So it's a weird thing, the WTA not really helping itself. But what do you reckon? What do you think of this whole situation? Do you think the coach is right to call out the WTA? It seems like the WTA and Rebecca are not having a great time at the moment. I'm sure she's going to be really happy about having the mer maybe merger of the tours with the ATP WTA merging. Maybe it will help her a little bit. She's also a part of the PTAPA, which is the Djokovic Player Association. Well, at least maybe the coaches because he put it in his post as well. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the whole situation? But Rebecca and the WTA still feuding.